LinkedIn believes B2B marketing can be B2 brilliant, B2 bold, and B2 breakthrough. How? With a platform purpose built to make B2B mean more for your business. A platform with tools to help you build better relationships with your key customers, to boost your buyer journey while building your brand. A platform with the trusted data and lead generation you need to beat KPIs, drive ROI, and stand out amongst the competition. And with the targeting tools on LinkedIn, you can reach your precise audience right down to their job title, company name, location, and more to make sure your ads are always being seen by those who matter. So get ready to be to boldly go where no marketers have gone before. Because LinkedIn is where B2B is everything it can be. Rethink your B2B marketing LinkedIn ads and get a $100 credit on your next campaign. Go to linkedin.com slash MPN to claim your credit. That's linkedin.com slash MPN. Terms and conditions apply. On this episode of Winfluence. I always think of this old Red Bull campaign that I've heard of through the grapevine is they were putting cans, empty cans and trash cans all around, you know, where they started. And it's almost like doing that. It's like it might you might be faking it a little bit, but it's showing people that it's out there. There's a difference between being an influencer and actually influencing. I'm Jason Falls, and in this podcast, we explore the people, companies, campaigns, and stories that illustrate that difference. Welcome to Winfluence, the Influence Marketing Podcast. Hello again, friends. Thanks for listening to Winfluence, the Influence Marketing Podcast. Many of you are small business owners. Some of you might also work in marketing teams or even at agencies where influencer marketing budgets are thin. So when you hear people rattling on about the software platforms they use for their influencer marketing efforts, you probably think, yeah, well, that'd be nice. The soup to nuts platforms are expensive, or at least they are for small businesses. When you're spending millions of dollars on marketing and hundreds of thousands of dollars on influencer marketing, two to three grand per month for software isn't concerning. So the expensive label is relative. But small business marketers have the same problems the enterprise does. They need a tool to help with discovery. They need the ability to manage campaigns. They want to measure their influencer marketing efforts easily, and doing it all manually or in a spreadsheet makes it far more time and labor intensive, which deters a lot of small businesses from even trying. Even if you get past that problem as a small business, then you have to worry about what influencers charge if you work with them. So the path many small businesses take is working with nano and micro influencers. But how do you find them? And how do you manage and measure working with folks who don't have talent managers or sophisticated software packages or even approaches to solve those problems? When the big software companies don't provide solutions for the little guy, that creates a gap. And gaps create opportunities for other software companies to thrive. Reach Influencers is one of those software companies. It's an influencer marketing platform and marketplace that includes almost all the feature sets of the big fancy enterprise solutions. It's built around small businesses and using micro and nano influencers too. And it costs less than $100 per month on the annual subscription. The first case study Nick Wise from Reach Influencers told me about was a small business in Hardensburg, Kentucky, of all places. Now, I tell you that for two reasons. First, you know I'm from Kentucky, so a little humble brag is in order. Reach Influencers is also based in Kentucky, so there's that too. But the main reason I tell you that is if a small local business in a town of less than 3,000 people can increase their revenue and exposure using influencer marketing, then you can too. Nick and I sat down to talk last week. We focused on the use of nano-influencers and how your own customers can be the smartest influence partners you work with. We talked about how a small business in a town of 3,000 people can effectively find influencers that are relevant to them and their location. And of course, we touched on the software too. Smart ideas for businesses small and large were had, and today we'll hear them from Nick Wise of Reach Influencers. Now, for those of you who are looking for something more than micro-nano-focused platforms and have a little more budget tolerance, take a look at Winfluence's presenting sponsor, Tagger. One of the main differences in Tagger and other tools is the deep analysis of a creator's content and the profiles that Tagger provides. I can not only see a creator's content and top-level metrics like engagement rates, but I can see predictive data 
around how many impressions and engagements future posts might have. I can also tap into Tagger's powerful affinity algorithms and get recommended creators similar to the one I'm reviewing. I not only build lists of amazing creators to partner with, but I have data behind that list to make me more confident my influencer marketing efforts will produce something outstanding. I could go on, but you know I use Tagger every day. You should check it out too. It might be right for your brand or agency. Go to jason.online slash tagger to get a free demo and see if Tagger is right for you. That's jason.online slash tagger. The power of nano and micro influencers, plus how a small town, small business can leverage influence marketing well. Nick Wise from Reach Influencers is next on Winfluence. LinkedIn believes B2B marketing can be B2 brilliant, B2 bold, and B2 breakthrough. How? With a platform purpose built to make B2B mean more for your business. A platform with tools to help you build better relationships with your key customers, to boost your buyer journey while building your brand. A platform with the trusted data and lead generation you need to beat KPIs, drive ROI, and stand out amongst the competition. And with the targeting tools on LinkedIn, you can reach your precise audience right down to their job title, company name, location, and more to make sure your ads are always being seen by those who matter. So get ready to be to boldly go where no marketers have gone before. Because LinkedIn is where B2B is everything it can be. Rethink your B2B marketing LinkedIn ads and get a $100 credit on your next campaign. Go to linkedin.com slash MPN to claim your credit. That's linkedin.com slash MPN. Terms and conditions apply. Nick, when we mention micro and nano influencers on this show, we, we generally talk about them from a kind of a high level. We don't get really granular on how businesses, especially small businesses, can use them. Now, they're obviously a lot more cost efficient place to start if you don't have a lot of money to invest in influencer marketing right away. What do you think are the primary reasons a brand or a business of, of really any size should be looking at those smaller audience influencers out there? Well, a lot of the times is they can be your customers already and they're really excited about your product and they're very cost effective so that you're not spending hundreds, thousands of dollars on a post, but you can give someone a product and they already love it. They already know what your product is and they want to support you as a business and they can create that social proof of who your company is and really what you guys stand behind. Very cool. Well, and it goes, uh, I think using micro and nano influencers, especially in, in how you've pointed out, you're, you're, sometimes you're tapping into your own customers. That goes just, that goes beyond the concept of influencers, as everyone who listens to this show knows. Mm -hmm. We differentiate between influencers and then people with influence. And I would say your customers are a part of that because you're not looking at them primarily as how many followers they have on a social network. You're looking at other things like, who do they impact? Maybe how much passion they have or experience they have with your brand. But I think you guys uh, talk to clients about the concept of using those customers as a person of influence or influencers in the non-influence vernacular. And you touched on a couple of reasons why, but I, I wonder, is that prohibitive for a small business? Because if a small business only has a couple of dozen customers, are they really influential for that business? Not necessarily because those customers, it's, you know, your age old, it's word of mouth, but it's coming to a new medium. It's coming to social media and it's hitting the Facebook mom with 500 followers or 500 friends. But those are really genuine connections. Absolutely agree with that. And and I think that's why the, the nano and micro influencers are so powerful because especially if you're talking to your customer base, because again, you're, you're fueling that word of mouth. And I mean, I, I go back 15, 20 years now when uh, an agency that I used to work with, it was a word of mouth marketing sort of forward agency. Uh, they used to use this statistic that uh, word of mouth marketing is, uh, I think they said 62 times more effective than advertising. And that was a quote from a book that's 20 years old now. So I'm sure it's different, but it's still much, much more effective. So for those of you listening out there, that's kind of what we're talking about here. So you said something a minute ago, Nick, that I, I've always found interesting. And I love asking people what they mean by this term, because I think it means different things to different people. And I think maybe the business owners out there who don't keep their head you know, centered in marketing, 
don't really understand what this means, but you talked about the one of the biggest benefits for using micro and nano influencers is uh, as they provide social proof for the brand. Tell us what you mean by that. The kind of easy way to conceptualize it is when you go to like my generation, I'm 24 years old. When we go and look at a new product or a new business, I'm looking at their Facebook, I'm looking at their Instagram, and I'm looking to see who's tagging that company. I just want to see that people have been using the product and that it's not empty. I don't really care too much about what the pro- the company's posting, but it's more about seeing that people are using the product, filling up those tags, filling up those mentions, and that it's out there in the world. So I guess in a way, social proof is kind of like an, an informal ratings and review, right? You've got exactly. evidence that there are people actually using this thing. <laughs> and especially when it's a new company, it's like, oh, okay, it's real. I'm not going to get scammed. Like this is a real company. People like it. And I can see what it is. Yeah. It's almost worth it for, you know, someone who's a, a, a new business, a new entrepreneur, or you're launching a new product. It's almost worth it to say, hey, we need to budget for the first, you know, 100 units to just be given away because we need that 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 evidence out there that people are using. Exactly. And it's like, I always think of this old Red Bull campaign that I've heard of through the grapevine is they were putting cans, empty cans and trash cans all around, you know, <laughs> where they started. And it's almost like doing that. It's like it might you might be faking it a little bit, but it's showing people that it's out there. <laughs> that's that's pretty daggone funny. And uh, I, I don't th- think that I'd ever heard that. Uh, but I do have something somewhat related to it. Not exactly in a positive way, though. The, it wasn't intended by the brand. But um, I have some history once upon a time uh, working with uh, Fireball Whiskey. And uh, the, the negative connotation of that is, is when you walk through the parking lots of convenience stores and bars, you see a lot of empty fireball whiskey, single shot bottles on the ground. Maybe That's some not football a good stadiums thing. stadiums too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's not that we don't want to encourage that kind of behavior. And I know fireball doesn't want to encourage that kind of behavior in terms of littering, but uh, it's kind of the same concept. But I, I don't think I'd heard about the Red Bull example. That's pretty funny. Um so I wonder, you know, I, I, I deal with, a, you know, clients uh, that work a lot with mid-tier and sort of, you know, higher volume uh, or higher audience count, I guess, follower count um, uh, influencers online. But every time I start to think about micro and nano influencers, I wonder is, is it enough to engage them as a business or can they also be really good ground cover that can then sort of build to engaging more of the mid-tier and mega influencers over time as your efforts grow. So would you talk to someone about, hey, let's take care of your micro and nano influencers, but then add those other ones onto it so that your brand is represented by a lot of different people? Definitely. And the nano micro influencer is a great way to start and kind of make mistakes, figure out what works, what doesn't work, how to create content with these people without, you know, losing potentially thousands and thousands of dollars. Yeah. Well, and I ask that because a lot of brands, you know, use a set number of creators for specific campaigns or maybe an annual program. A lot of my clients do that. I, they'll, they'll invest in five or six creators um, in different categories for their business over like 12 months. So there's a steady stream of content hitting the Internet about them from trusted third parties, you know, with medium to large audiences. But I just keep coming back to using that approach as a medium to larger brand, maybe you got a little bit more budget to spend and combining that with a good nano influencer campaign that just amplifies the power of repetition and the exposure for the brand seems, seems really, really smart. Yeah. And a lot of those time you might get a new influencer, nano influencer, and they become good customers too. Yeah. That's a great point. And you know, everyone's a consumer just because they have 5,000 followers you know, those 5,000 followers are still consumers. That's very true. Let me let me shift here just a little bit and talk about platforms. TikTok obviously is hot right now, but it almost seems like brands have become conditioned to think about Instagram as where influencer marketing happens. So much of what we talk about in the sort of influencer discovery process and, and programs revolve around Instagram these days. Yet it's not the biggest consumer platform, nor is it the most used. Why do you think that is? And is there danger in focusing all your efforts in one place? I think there definitely is danger focusing in one place. Like you said, with TikTok, this is 
July 8th right now. So we don't know if it's going to be in the app store next week or <laughs> next month. It's a great so point. it's kind of all up in the air right now. So you don't want to kind of put all your eggs in one basket. So by using influencers on YouTube, you're creating different kinds of content. You're getting in front of different audiences, but then you can also draw to Instagram and get some really good static posts, get some reels, stuff like that, and kind of just diversify. You know, investors are always talking about this diversify your portfolio. It's the same thing with influencer marketing and all the different platforms out there. We are talking to Nick Wise from Reach Influencers. When we come back after the break, I want to talk a little bit more about the Reach Influencers platform itself and how both brands and creators can use it. Stay tuned. You know, we talk a lot about influencer marketing software on this show. And the worst thing about it for a lot of you is that influencer marketing software for small businesses is too expensive, right? Well, Reach Influencers solves that problem. Now your small business can find, engage, and manage micro and nano influencers, the ones you can afford to work with. And reach influencers costs as low as $100 per month. Are you kidding me? No, it's true. Go to CaptureTheInfluence.com slash podcast and see for yourself. Find, engage, manage, influence with software built and priced for your sized business. CaptureTheInfluence.com slash podcast. Back with Nick Wise from Reach Influencers. Nick, tell us a little bit about how you got to be where you are and how Reach Influencers began. How did the platform get started? Yeah, so my whole start is back in 2018. I met a a kid by the name Landon Casey, and we were both studying mechanical engineering together at the University of Kentucky. And he had this idea of bringing together small businesses with nano and micro influencers. He wanted to find some kind of marketplace or platform that really merged the two. We're from, he's from small town, Kentucky, and he really didn't see that anywhere out there to help the really small business. And tragically in 2019, he passed away when he was on the verge of releasing the beta version of the platform. So his dad, Kevin Casey invited me to join the team. And from there we kind of picked up where he left off and have built out this software that enables small businesses to connect with influencers, create campaigns, pay influencers, and do the whole management process without getting overwhelmed. Well, and and it's such an amazing story that you know after his passing, his father kind of came to the uh, came to the the business and then brought you in. I, I see that people can't see you on a podcast, obviously, but you've got to live like Landon. Uh, you know, hat on right now. And so it's got to be a real passion project for all of you to work on on something that was his original idea and has become actually something that you guys have, have brought to life. Yeah, and it definitely is. And part of everything Reach does is we're giving back to the foundation that Kevin or that Landon's parents created in his name called the Live Like Landon Foundation. And that's all about promoting entrepreneurship, art, music, just everything that kind of encompassed who Landon was. Well, you're, you're certainly doing a great job of, of bringing his legacy to life. So tell us a little bit more specifically about Reach Influencers. Take, you know, the, the, the amazing origin story out of the question. You're in an elevator with a CEO of a company or a small business owner that happens to say they're looking for, you know, something to help with influencer marketing. What do you say to him in that elevator pitch about Reach Influencers and what it does? Yeah, I would tell them that Reach is a platform that enables you as a small business to find, manage, connect, pay, send product to influencers, and do everything in one place. So you're not managing 10 different Excel spreadsheets. You're getting all your posts sent to one place, approval. It's just all right in front of you. And one thing I really like to hit on is how we can help small businesses like super small nano nano businesses just starting. And one great example of that is this company called Rooted Joy down in Hardensburg, Kentucky, small town, you know, maybe 10,000 people. And she came to us and was like, I want to do influencer marketing. Just, I don't know how. So we, we wanted to be that building block for her. 
All right. So tell us how you became a building block for her, because I think there's a lot of small businesses out there who are probably in the same shape she is. She's like, you know, I, I want to use influencer marketing. It appeals to me, you know, theoretically, but I, I've got no clue how to do this. So how does Reach Influencers help someone like that execute and use influencers? Right. I mean, starting off, she had no clue or none of the time to go out and search influencers. So we were able to set her up with an account and she created a campaign, which is one page deal where it outlined everything that she wanted influencers to do. And then with the tool of reach, she was able to invite influencers based on different criteria. And then people were also able to apply to join her campaign. And once that happened, she was off to the races. She was starting to get requests for people in her local area in her town that were kind of newer because it's such a small town, but didn't even know this opportunity was out there yet and didn't even know she was a company. So they were able to join her campaign. And within a matter of days, they were starting to post for her. And along with that came the content that she repurposed. Yeah. So she ends up, you know, not only winding up with other people talking about her brand, but has content that she can use on her social channels too. So I'm curious, you know, Hardensburg is not a very big town. Um, and if these uh, these influencers were local to her, I'm curious how they found out about her. How, how do you connect, you know, specific influencers in specific places and whatnot with brands? Because uh, other than I would think just for me, and I'm, I'm not always brilliant or not always smart even, um, but I would think that the only way a, a business in Hardensburg is going to find influencers that can have an impact on uh, on their business basically defined by people in and around Hardensburg is they're going to have to walk down the street and ask people how many followers they have on social media. How do you connect those dots? Exactly. So one of the features on the reach platform, it's kind of like an auto trader where you can put in a zip code and do a a search radius. So she was able to do that and find the people in her area. And then on the reach side of things on our team is we kind of find people's social media footprint and see where people are posting from and invite them to join campaigns. Now, I know, you know, you've described what you've described in terms of this tool where you can, you know, find, connect with, manage, you know, pay, all that good stuff, influencers. That to me describes an enterprise platform that, and and when you talk about enterprise platforms, you're talking about a price point that a small business in Hardensburg, Kentucky, or anywhere for that matter, can't afford. So tell me how Reach provides all that and what the cost is so people understand what that is. Yeah. So the cost is just $1,000 a year. And we provide that through an online software. And you just set up your account as a business. And once you pay that subscription fee, you're off to the races. You can create as many campaigns as you want, connect to as many influencers as you want, and just start really creating influencer uh, marketing. And I mean, I, I being from a small town and someone who likes to advocate for the small businesses out there and someone who deals a lot with the enterprise platforms, it's really amazing and refreshing that you've got something so robust uh, that, you know, is is low cost. Because I know a lot of people out there heard him say a thousand and immediately cringe, but it's a thousand dollars a year. That's less than a hundred bucks a month, folks. So this is not a costly software, even for the smallest of businesses. Uh, so, you know, think about that as you think about what's uh, what's out there to help you, because there's not a lot of platforms out there that are going to be cheaper than that. Right. And, you know, part of what we do is you're able to send. I'm really into the whole able to send product to an influencer in the platform. So once you're connected, you have a legitimate connection with an influencer that wants to post for you and you can get all their information in the platform without going back and forth. Um, through DMs or whatever it might be. So I know creators obviously uh, can can be found uh, you, you know, by the users searching the platform, but I know creators can also sort of register to sort of be in the pool of influencers to be chosen, right? How does the platform help the creator? Exactly. So as a creator, as an influencer, it's 100% free to sign up. We don't take any money from you. And so when you sign up, you can connect your different social media accounts and you can start applying to campaigns. You know, you can start requesting to join whatever's out there and then a business will kind of verify, vet your profile. And then if both of you agree, 
that you want to be working together, you guys start working together. It's kind of a three click system. Well, and, and for, for those, um, you know, uh, creators out there that are listening that are beyond the micro nano and you're like, well, I've got a talent manager or I work with bigger brands when I maybe reach is not right for you, but m- maybe it can't hurt to put yourself on there because you could always, you know, run into a lead, a blind squirrel finds a nut now and then, right? I mean, I tell influencers, join every platform. They're, it's free. Exactly. Just because I'm a platform doesn't mean you can't join every other one. You know, you're an influencer. Go get your bag. Well, I would all, I would also talk to the people out there who, you know, have a social media account, but maybe they don't consider themselves influencers or they haven't they want to be and they haven't really built a big platform or a big network yet. Go ahead and apply for for platforms like Reach Influencers, because, again, these brands are often coming to these what I would call marketplaces uh, to where they can find people who will apply for their campaigns. And they're coming there with the intent of using micro and nano influencers. So the fact that you have 200, 300 followers on Instagram is not a deterrent for them. So it's an opportunity for you to plug in and potentially start working with brands, which, again, helps you build your resume as you grow your audience so that you can get beyond that micro nano level eventually and perhaps be you know, engaging brands on a much larger level down the road. And it's a good way to start to learn how the really behind the scenes of an influencer campaign works when you've never done a deal before. Yeah. Yeah. Seeing those, those enterprise level platforms in, in action. And I would qualify by saying reach influencers has the enterprise level capability. So you're going to be seeing a tool in action that works like an enterprise platform, even though, the people using it aren't paying, you know, a bazillion dollars a month to use it. So, uh, Nick, go ahead and give us the nitty gritty. Uh, where can people learn more and connect with you online so that they can get hooked up? So they can follow us on Instagram, reach uh, underscore influencers, or you can find us on our website, reach dash influencers.com. I would also add on there, too, if you are interested in supporting uh, a foundation uh, that supports entrepreneurship, Go search for Live Like Landon and uh, see what's out there for that. Sure can. And that's the Live Like Fa- Landon Foundation.com. Awesome. Nick, man, thanks for the time and thanks for the platform. It's been great talking to you. And I'm, I'm really tickled that there's something out there that's as robust as what you have to offer that doesn't cost businesses an arm and a leg. Thanks for doing that. Yeah. Thanks for having me on, Jason. Without a doubt, folks, the local and customer-based influencers are the most underused segment in all of influencer marketing. I love those insights and ideas from Nick. Check Reach Influencers out. They do have a special URL because they're a sponsor of the Marketing Podcast Network. You can find them at CaptureTheInfluence.com. That's CaptureTheInfluence.com. And we certainly appreciate their support of MPN. Now, that sponsorship was not a prerequisite for Nick being on the show today. They're an influencer marketing software company, and I knew they had relevant information for you. I would have had him on the show sans MPN support. But for disclosure's sake, they sponsor the Marketing Podcast Network, and we thank them for that. CaptureTheInfluence.com. Go sign up your business, or if you're a creator, join their marketplace and have deals come to you. Folks, don't forget to drop Winfluence a rating or review on your favorite podcast app. We're on all of them. Apple, Google, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeartMedia, Podchaser, TuneIt, Good Pods, Listen Notes, Audible, Pandora, Amazon Music. If we're not on the platform that you listen to, please let me know. I will correct that ASAP. Whatever your app or listening mode, if you are listening to us right now, and yes, you actually are. Look for the stars or ratings on that app or site and tap or click and let us know how we are doing. Also, if you'd like a deep dive on influence marketing topics every so often, as well as highlighted case studies, creators, and inspiration about influence marketing, subscribe to my email newsletter at jason.online slash subscribe. I send it monthly-ish. The latest was a couple of weeks ago. So sign up now so you don't miss what I'm working on for August. And I'd love you to help make a future episode of Winfluence Awesome. Ask your question about influence or influence marketing that you want my answer to or take on. Send an email to jason at jasonfalls.com. If you're feeling adventurous, record a voice memo on your phone and email me that file. I'll let you ask the question right here on the show using that recording. Regardless of how you ask it, I may use your comment on a future episode or your question to inspire a show topic. If I do... 
I'll send you a signed copy of Winfluence, the book, as a thank you. Winfluence, the Influence Marketing Podcast, is an audio companion to my book, Winfluence, Reframing Influencer Marketing to Ignite Your Brand. Get your copy online at winfluencebook.com. While you're there, sign up for the latest ideas about influence marketing delivered in my periodic newsletter, or book me to speak to your company or organization about influence marketing. And if you need help with your influence marketing strategy, drop me a line at jason at jasonfalls.com. If you or someone you know is an influencer, a brand manager that uses influence marketing, or one of the many amazing people working in the influence marketing services world, and they would make a good guest for the show, email me at jason at jasonfalls.com. Our theme music is One More Look by the K-Club and Grammy Award-winning producer Jaquire King. Thanks for listening, and remember, when it's not about the person, but about results, it's Winfluence. How can you change the world, build a company, or establish an industry if no one knows you exist? Marketing makes you exist. The Space Marketing Podcast is where we explore marketing principles, strategies, and tactics through the lens of space. Join me, Izzy House, as we talk with industry professionals about their challenges and successes with marketing in the new space economy. Subscribe at spacemarketingpodcast.com or look for the Space Marketing Podcast wherever you listen. This podcast is heard along the Marketing Podcast Network. For more great marketing podcasts, visit marketingpodcasts.net.